View from Penmar Park, November 25th on Friday. Hey guys, I'm here at Penmar Park. Came like 10 minutes out of the parking lot. We're at. View from Penmar Park, November 25th on Friday. Hey guys, I'm here at Penmar Park. Came like 10 minutes out of the parking lot. We're at. There's a privy. I have some some guys staying at the shelter last night. This is actually right on the trail. Comes through here and goes this way. set up for the night the lunar solo and I took the gossamer gear backpack I'm testing out the CR designs mobile mummy you can Jarms out on each side has a double zipper at the top and zip it from the bottom and the top. Then you can flip that foot box and clip it onto these and you can actually walk around in this thing. So I used that last night and I'm glad I did. It was cold. Another thing I'm testing is this shelf liner. That worked great for keeping my pad from sliding around. For the most part it stayed in one place. <clears throat> I 
Uh, getting a slow start out of Deer Lick Shelter. Just wanted to do another little view of the place before I take off. I'm only going to do a couple miles today to the next shelter. They're very close, like two to three miles. Next one is Antietam. And then a couple miles after that is... Uh, there's another shelter there that's kind of like this. has two two shelters. This is very nice. Has a a grill. Your water's up that way. Not too far. Like point two, something like that. Here's the other shelter. Four guys staying here. Made a fire last night. So it got down to around 32, but the wind was going at 20 miles an hour. So uh, that's all I got today. At least the sun is out today. Coming up to Antietam shelter. Got a little bridge here. A little bridge over there. Creek. Right here. Yeah. Doing our clip when we get to the shelter. Getting ready to cook a nice lunch. Lasagna Mountain House. Using the new BSR stove. I used it this morning to make some coffee and it was awesome. Oh, the bottle's getting too, too close. <laughs> Started melting it. Look at that. <laughs> Think it's hot. So I'm back at Deer Lick Shelter. I made it to Antietam. There were some people there that didn't want to be photographed or videoed. And I respect that. That's fine. So I had a snack and chatted for a little bit. And so I'm back here. I'm going to spend the night. I think I might uh, try and shelter sleeping tonight. I never slept in a shelter, so I'm going to try that. And, uh try the revelation the quilt 10 degree quilt but I'm gonna have my uh, sleeping bag handy because it may be I don't know how chilly I'm gonna be compared to my tent and another piece of gear that um, I'm using this trip is the Solomon's I did a quick review on those they're working out great. The Gossamer Gear G4 pack. I am pushing the limits on the weight that it can handle, but I really don't like how it, how it carries the weight. But it was the only pack I had that would uh, fit everything in and be light. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to have some lunch. Maybe get a fire going, and I'll be back later. Enjoying the fire. Oops. Peaceful. Morning, everybody. It is Sunday. Sunday morning. Been about an hour on trail. It's 20 after 8. I left, well, actually, I've been about an hour and a half on trail. 
heading back to Penmar Park. Just wanted to stop and show you the view. The sun is coming up. Going to have another another beautiful hike. Blue skies for once, no clouds. So I said I was going to test out the revelation last night. Uh, lighting equipment quilt. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I really, I really, really like uh, the Sierra Designs bag. And uh, it was pretty chilly last night, too. The first time I stepped in the shelter, that went well. It was a lot warmer than I thought it would be. And uh, no rain. Made little fires I took a couple photos of. Uh, one person and their dog in the shelter next to me. But, uh, yeah, I had a uh, lasagna for supper. But tonight, I just, or this morning, I just wanted to get up and get moving. Hopefully I can get home before 2 o'clock. That would be nice. But I'm going to enjoy the rest of my hike. Try to make some time. And uh, we'll see you later down the trail. Just one more view of my surroundings here. Oh, when we get down to Penmore Park, I'll do another clip down there. It would look like a it looked like a beautiful view down there, but it was pretty cloudy when I pulled in. So I'll get back to you when I get there. Alright, later. Cardinal. All right, gotta go find my blazes. I'll be back. Back at Penmore Park.
Gonna go find my car. Go to the store. Get something to eat. Later. Okay, so this is after the hike. I'm back and I just wanted to show you a couple features of the Sierra Designs Mobile Money. So the hood's up, you can put your arms out the side, and you can also zip up from the bottom and tuck and clip it to the side so you can walk around camp. You can sit and, and cook and keep this on as a jacket. So those are two of the main features of the mobile mummy that I like. Now for some specs. I'm on Sierra Designs website. This is the women's mobile mummy 800 fill 15 degree bag. You can see the price there. Okay. This is a full size. This here is where you can bring your arms out. And then you have the loops that you can flip the back up and snap onto there. I really like those features. It really has a really high loft. And I like the way the the hood just hugs your head and keeps you warm. It's it's very nice bag. I really like it. And it also has this nice baffle. So whichever way you're zipping, uh, you you rarely lose very much heat. That you know it holds the heat in the bag very well. Okay, for some more specs here. So your comfort limit is 20 degrees and I agree with that from the times I've used it it has kept me warm actually uh, maybe a little too warm at times um, fits a uh, 5 foot 8 fill weight your trail weight is 2 pounds 7 ounces though it is heavy but if for me planning on the end of February um, I'm really considering this bag. Uh, after I do this review, I'm going to do a review on the Enlightened Equipment Revelation in depth. And I'll post that also and give you my thoughts on that. So, uh, again, the zipper does zip from the top down and bottom up. And, uh, that's pretty much all the info on there. Check out Sierra Designs. You know, for an option, they have different kinds of uh, sleeping bags, very unique. So, uh, check them out. And uh, there is a lot of places that have uh, quilts. They're worth checking out if you're saving weight. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, if you like these types of videos, let me know in the comments. Because um, I'm thinking about doing more of the gear review type uh, videos on stuff that I've, I've used pretty much, you know, and I have some experience with and actually can say, yes, I really like this and uh, uh, this is what I don't like about this particular item. So, uh, till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.